Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Up over seven. Great day, safe day. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Happy Thanksgiving. Let's make it a great one. You're traveling, please be safe. No drinking, driving. Everyone wants to see you come this Friday. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best to me, take action on your ideas. You have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon that idea, no manifestation, no results, and no reward. As Nike says, just do it. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 174, NASDAQ up 66, S&P's up 14 and a half. Gold, gold contract down $8.30, trading at 2013 an ounce. We have silver down 16 cents, $24.06 an ounce. Light sweet crude, off 93 cents, $76.84 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, down three ticks, trading 108.26. The 30-year up seven at 115.27 and king dollar. King dollar right now trading up 345 ticks, 103,900 euro at 108, yen at uh, 149 British pound at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, it's been one straight shot, folks, and I don't think that's going to, you know, end until we get a little blow off here. So... <laughs> Uh, the bottom line is that, you know, we are at right now 455. We hit 456. 462 is the number. That's the A, A to B equals C to D. Now, it's a one-to-one, -one, but I suspect the way this is set up right now, this is set up pretty good that you can come in here Friday morning. Now, we're closed Friday. This is the only time that the market's open and that we do close so everyone can have a great, you know, long weekend. Uh... Markets open from 9.30 to 1. I suspect you're going to see a run. They're going to, they're going to run this thing. You know, the, the top of the range here in the, the SPA is 4.59. So they'll run it to 4.59. 4.59 is going to be easy. I mean, we're at 4.54 right now. You know, we hit 4.56. I suspect, you know, that ABC is going to come into fruition. That's, that's how this thing is looking. You know, we take this and we put it back a little bit further... And what you're going to see here is that uh, as we get up to that level, now this is where this is going to get really interesting because what we, we very well can have is a very lo large ABC structure up. Now watch this, though. Look at how this is set up, man. Is this, I get this on a monthly right now, okay? And on a monthly, 1.3, you're going to be able to do it, man. We'll see how this shakes out. There's, a, there's enough volume that's in here that you could take that out. And if you take that out, oh, my God, that is a one monster ABC structure up. The cool thing is, is that you're going to know, you know, when we get up there, number one, can you take it out? Number two, do you have the volume on, on the monthly? And if you have the volume on the monthly, folks, okay, you know, once ABC start happening in the marketplace, um, they can basically trend and trend for a bit. And if that's what we get... You know, the bottom line is that that's where we're going. Microsoft, bottom line, you got the AI, Sam Altman's back, and the big, big seed again. And you can see Microsoft. Microsoft's also in an ABC structure up. Took out the B point, took it out with volume. Microsoft, no doubt, is the big winner in this. Um, you know, the, the battle's probably just starting, but the bottom line, Microsoft is the big winner. And when you take a look at Microsoft, um, you know, that wants... 412, and right now you're at 377. NVIDIA, let's go take a look at NVIDIA. You know, the bottom line, NVIDIA come out with numbers last night. NVIDIA's trading down $11. Monster numbers, man. I mean, look at this thing. You know, I brought this up yesterday, though, that, that the context of uh, the acceleration up, you can see it's going to slow a bit. You know, first quarter of this year, it took in $7 billion. Second quarter, 13. Third quarter yesterday, 18. Next one's only 19.5. That being said, guess what? At 18.1, which they took in, that is more than they took in in the full year of 2021. So you are talking monster numbers that just, you know, yeah, you, can, you can just actually keep 
going at that level, and that's about as it's very profitable. Let's put it that way. What we do have here is that you have a high. Let me just see if this thing got tested. So you get, yeah, it did. So what you're going to have here is this. You're going to have. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. Oh, I see. Hold one second. Oh, this is going to get interesting. So even on the weekly, you got to do some math behind this thing because of the fact, yeah, it's still not, never going to do it. So you, you, you're going you're gonna to have a test of a high with light of volume, rejection of a higher price. That's what you're going to have. And it's probably just going to spin it into a consolidation for a longer period of time. That's how that thing looks. Now, the thing that's intriguing, of course, is that that being said, meaning that you do have uh, NVIDIA down, well, guess what? It didn't affect the NDX 100. Well, of course, it affected it price-wise for a bit. But the bottom line is it's still going higher. You know, you took out your swing point. You, you're over the swing point in a monster way right now. And then if we take a look at the NDX, the way this thing is set up, you know, the next, the next stop is the highs, man. That's, that's how this is set up. And what has happened, just as I've brought up, you know, many times here, because of the, the last retracement, folks, okay, was a very small retracement in the context of how we went higher. It's a 0.382 retracement in the NDX 100, as well as the SPY. That is saying that you can have an ABC structure in the way up beyond belief. And in fact, it doesn't seem like, you know, we only did a, a 0.382, and that's because this has been going on for a year and a half, okay? So the first get-go was a 0.618 in the way down. You did the level up, you did a 0.382, but that's just showing that the market actually is building more strength as it's going higher. Let's go to the oil market and take a look at the oil market. So the oil market out here, this has been jumpy in a month away. Uh, we take a look at oil out here today. Oil got down on a price point of 73. Right now you're at 76. We got 364,000 contracts. Now that's a lot of contract volume that's, ba that's banging out here. Yeah, it definitely is. Let's just see this intraday here for a second. So intraday, it made it all the way back. That being said, you're building cars for lower price. That's how this day baby's set up. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks, and we'll come right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now trading at buck, buck 70. NASDAQ up 67. S&P's up 14. We'll come right back.